By reading the title you probably thought of North Korea or any war region. Well, here I want to talk about those parts of the world which are restricted to the public due to their unique reasons. 1. North Sentinel Island. This island is a small landmass in one of the Andaman Islands, an Indian archipelago in the Bay of Bengal in the Indian Ocean. Almost nothing is known about this indigenous tribe which inhabited the land almost 60,000 years ago. This island is isolated from the rest of the world due to this these indigenous people don't have any acquired immunity from any foreign diseases. If you try to visit here, the Sentinelese will try to kill you. After a failed mission to make a connection because they tried to attack them with bows and arrows the government of India banned people to travel within three miles of the island. 2. I-L-H-A-D-A-Q-U-E-I-N-A-D-A -E Grande. It is a home to thousands of highly venomous snakes especially, golden lancehead pit vipers. According to the resources, it is estimated that there is one snake in each square meter island. It is located about 90 miles offshore and access is strictly controlled by the Brazilian government. Only qualified researchers, who know how to handle snakes authorized by ICM Bio can only enter under the condition if they have a doctor in their team. 3. Surtsey Iceland. It is a volcanic island in the southern coast of Iceland. It is formed by the volcanic eruption which began 130 meters below sea level in the Atlantic Ocean. This island was declared a natural reserve in 1965, and in 2008, UNESCO declared it a World Heritage Site. This site is only open to researchers who are studying about this island. 4. Svalbard Global Seed Vault, Norway. It is also referred as the Doomsday Vault. This is actually a very important place for us. It stores nearly 100 million seeds from all over the world to restore the plant kingdom in case something really, really bad happens in our planet's vegetation. This vault was opened in 2008, and was built to last about 200 years. It can also withstand explosions and earthquakes. Fun fact, even North Korea has given its seeds for storage. Plutano's Gate, Turkey. In ancient times, people didn't dare to come here they believed it to be a very dangerous place. According to ancient historian Strabo, any animal that passes inside meets death. Someone threw sparrows and they immediately breathed their last and fell. Later it was confirmed by scientists in 1965 after measuring the CO2 concentration they found out that at night when the temperature decreases C02 becomes heavier than air and the concentration of C02 reaches its peak and any living being risks their life by getting there at dawn.